Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing the voiceover, but in the video it's Alex. Right here, I just laid down the template on the slab of clay and I'm just cutting around the template. And now I'm just taking the excess clay away that I cut out and peeling the template off. And now I'm taking my X-Acto knife and just beveling the corners a little bit. Um, you bevel the corners just so it's not like um, a blunt edge and it it makes it easier to blend together. And here I am just uh, adding slip and scoring. You can either use water or water and vinegar or like I'm using now a prepared slip and now I am just getting the shape I want and I'm taking little coils here and putting them against the, the lid so it doesn't lose its shape while I work on the, the bottom. And I'm just doing the same thing here. I'm taking the corners and blending them together, folding up the edges to cre create an actual dish. And now I'm rolling out um, a baby coil. I'm going to take it and attach it to the corners that we just attached on the top and the bottom. I do this because it just adds extra material around where we just attached and blended the clay together on the corners. It will help it be stronger and just reinforce it basically I have a little wooden tool right here that I'm using to blend you can use your finger, a wooden tool, some people use spoons, whatever you can find and works best for you. Just play around and see what you like because not everyone is the same. And here I'm taking my little snakes and putting them around the bottom of the butter dish so it holds its shape while I go back to the top. And here I'm just blending the corners, just like I did a second ago. Just smoothing everything, blending everything, making sure that it's all together.
I'm just taking my rib right here and smoothing it out a little bit and just getting the right shape I want. And then I'm taking out um, the little feet I made for the bottom of the butter dish. Glaze will stick to the kiln shelves, so that's why you see feet on basically all pottery, most pottery. You will see a little foot that is unglazed. And um, I'm actually going to add six feet to the bottom of the butter dish just because it's so long. Instead of just putting four on each corner. And this clay is called Cinco Rojo by Armadillo Clay Company, if anyone's wondering. It is a cone six clay and right here I am just taking another one of those little rectangle feet I had and attaching it to each side as the butter of the butter dish acting as a little handle making it easier to grab And right here I'm just taking a little ball tool and making sure all the feet are attached so it doesn't crack and pop off while it's in the drying process. But yeah, I'm just smoothing everything out, giving it the shape I want. And I think all I have left to do is add a handle for the top. You can have fun with this. You can make it any shape you want. Right here, I'm just making a little circle. And I'm about to attach it to the top. I'm scoring the surface and applying slip. And this is basically the end of our video. Um, thank you everyone for watching. I'm also trying to get better at camera angles and recording myself, so bear with me. I'll get better at time, but thanks. Bye.